Hello and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing. Working out this morning, dead flat in here. No wind at all, so perfect for boat projects. Lizzie's going off to do some remote work at a cafe uh, while I sort out the boat. And then later on today, we're gonna head over to Herm. It's actually quite nice. Lovely day for it. Chandra just over there, so a little bit of a walk around. Um, but we'll head over there this morning, but first, shower and then breakfast. back on board now um, we've got a few little jobs to do I think the first one I'll do is figure out if my spinnaker sheet lines are actually the right ones if they'll work or not um, we've got them at the front because we've got the spinnaker here and these are the two set of lines so I'm gonna get one out run it around the boat and see if it'll, uh, if it'll do the length I need but I think it, it looks right this is the part that extends to the spinnaker. I just pushed it out, so I should probably pull that back in while we're in the harbour, but yeah, let's uh, grab this one and uh, head out and start the boat work. Right, so I've just been around the boat now and uh, done some measuring up. That eyelet just there where this white wire goes to, that's where you can attach a little block um, and that runs up to the winch for the sheet line for the spinnaker. Then the line runs around the front of the genoa, or the furling gear, whatever you want to call it. And the rope needs to be able, the sheet needs to be able to get round out to this corner here. So I've done some measuring with some ropes I had on the boat. One's two metres, three metres too short, and it's a bit on the thick side. I would like a, side, a diameter similar to this size, but it's like the next size up. Probably like the size of that black one there. Um, and then we've also got a longer one, which is the start diameter I want, um, but it's too long. Um, and it's the wrong colour, I want, uh, I want to get like the red flake and the green flake but for the sheets, spinnaker sheets. I'm, I measured that one around the boat, giving me a little bit of excess and I tied a knot where I want it lengthwise. So we should be able to go to the shop now and pick up some stuff. Also need some light bulbs because we've got blown lights in there. So two lights, pretty bright. One of them is an LED light which is nice. So we'll see what we can get in the shop. Um, apart from that, we've got, we've got the blocks we need. That's the one that will go on there. I just need to change out this part here. Um, I did check on the pole on the front um, for where the spinnaker actually connects. I brought some Dyneema soft shackles. So I should be able to soft shackle it onto there, which is nice and easy. Um, but apart from that, I'm gonna pack up the boat and get over to the Chandri, which is just over there. Right, just finished up in the Chandri. I've got a bag full of ropes and uh, got some light bulbs to replace. They didn't have a tension engage, but I'll just do the twang test. That'll be good enough. We're around at the uh, other side of the harbour. There's the fort. We're going to go check that out a little bit later. And uh, yeah, we're going to head back round into town and back to the boat and uh, see if I can get everything working. Right, just stopped in at the marine office, just there. And it's about 28 pounds for my 20, well, 8.4 meter long trimaran. So I don't think that's too bad. That's why I don't like going to marinas anyway. And we like going on the anchor. Um, but it made the most sense. And we shouldn't be going in any other marinas, but it was good to have nice showers. The showers are good and the toilets were good. So it's definitely worth paying that. Right, I'm back on the boat. Got all our bits. Got the uh, standard bowl. We're gonna stick that down by the toilet because it's not done anything bright. Got the LED one. I might just put that one over here because we want more like the kitchen. You do the nav station and put the standard one that's in there over there. And in the main light over here, we've got the big bright one, which I found out was 27 pounds in the shop over there. So I won't be doing that, but go around here. Hopefully that should just fit like that and then ta-da we have light so we've got these glass covers to go on but not exactly lightweight for a trimaran so 
it'd be light. So I'm gonna go do those two bulbs and uh, screw them back on, and uh, then we'll get on to another job. Right, I've just pulled the anchors out the front to uh, sort out the pole for the spinnaker. Um, the anchors, the one that changes is really rusty, so I'm gonna dust pan and brush it out. Um, but I figured out the system, there's two pulleys. I'll show you in a minute, but I need to find a pin for this shackle to actually attach it. Now, it came with the boat, is these little boxes down here. And they're absolutely rammed full of expensive shackles and uh, other cool things like look at that screws bolts big shackles spark plugs a block this side's a bit of electrical bits don't know if there's a pin in there that'll fit this or a replacement one of these even we'll have a look in the other box this one's the expensive one look at all of those snap shackles and other shackles and things yeah, I'm gonna have a delve. The next project was up on the front with the uh, bowsprit. Now, I'm having a bit of a problem with it. I'll come show you, but you can see, well, look at these massive anchors I got and all the chain. That's the rustiest, that's got a bigger, that little anchor's got a bigger chain than this big anchor, so. But you can see the bowsprit comes through here and it extends right the way into the cabin over there. So when you push it out, it comes to about there and sticks out maybe like four or five foot, something like that out the front. Um, I've tidied up this because it's full, full of rust. But if you go in here, you can see this pulley system. It runs all the way down to the bow. And uh, up over here, I've put, just put this shackle on. There's only this mount here. So you pull it back with this and you can lock it off. But I don't really need to lock it off because it doesn't slide forward easily. Um, but this one you can use to pull it forward. Now what happens is when I want to make sure this is loose, give it a bit of slack. When this is loose, I pull it and see how it slowly rotates. And then you can see the shackle over there kind of twists. It struggles, it or maybe in a foot's time. It'll really, right there, I can't really pull that through. I think when I, that's a bit too much, but there, when it's kept vertical like that, it does make its way out slowly and easily. And then to put it back in, it's quite easy just doing it with this one here. It can get caught though again still because it wants to twist and it jams up. I've even put some um, silicon lubricant stuff on there to try and, you know, lube it up, but yeah, it's still just a bit stiff. So as long as you're twisting it while you're doing it, so push it around, give it a pull, that should be fine. Um, pushing it out, I'm not too worried because I, it's easier to do it inside, just quickly run down push it out and then when you come up the front to put the sheets round you can actually um, just lock it off with these. At least this is all set up and ready. Um, there's a lot of chain and rope and stuff so I've got to try and place it all so it's this stuff can all freely move because I had to clean it all out. I think for now this is the main anchor. Apparently this anchor is better because it's quite pointy and digs in nice better than that one but that one's a heavier anchor. 15 kilograms which I think is a bit excessive for this boat um, but this one's nice but look at this this is like it gets worse as you go along um, this chain's nice uh, and it's marked well this one's got zip ties for markings which isn't the best especially when they snap off and go in the sea um, but yeah I think we'll tuck this one right up the front keep it away from this put this one back it kind of has to sit across here to actually fit in the anchor locker but I think when I get back home I'll uh switch out i might keep this one as like a, and change the road and keep it as like a, a second anchor because you've got two rollers there but you can also do a stern anchor in case i need one and a backup anchor so this one might be a good one for that and then i'll get my mantis off uh, merakai which might also fit because the mantis when i bought it for merakai was actually oversized 
yeah, sell that one, keep this one as a backup, probably put this spinny one with this chain rotors. We've got about 10 meters of chain and then it goes into rope. So that'd be nice to set up with the Mantis. I'm gonna try and put all of this rope and chain and anchor stuff back without getting in the way. And then we should be able to use the spinnaker on Thursday because we've got about 13, 14 knots and uh, downwind, that is perfect for the spinnaker. So I cannot wait for a spinnaker on a boat that I have. When you look at that, nice and tidy. You can see this 15 kilogram anchor barely fits. I have to twist it an angle. And then sometimes it might be annoying with the pole and stuff. And then we've got the crappy chain for this anchor and it's road. And we've got the road for the massive anchor. And then its chain is just stacked up there. So I think that's quite organized. A lot more room than I had before. Well, at least this is one job complete. Right, we're going to the castle. Let's go on an adventure. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she almost stacked that. I almost stacked that. Adios. Look, Marina is empty. Everyone disappeared. Apart from them. And then. Because you're here. It's because I'm here. Tell Look you. at that. Utter ice cream. Nice little shop here, right down by the fort. Lizzie's already given it a good review. What did you get? Banana and toffee. Banana and toffee. Look at this child here just living a dream. <laughs> I got vanilla and there's chocolate down there because I'm basic but you know you love the good stuff it smell I can smell it from here blowing in my face and it already smells nice so yeah I'm gonna devour this and we're gonna explore the little uh, faulty castle thing. on the boat, done our shop, done a visit, got the ice cream, about to head off, sun is setting, so we're gonna go over to home and uh, we'll be able to get a little bit more sun by going over there to the beach, we'll drop anchor and stay there the night and then some point tomorrow head over to Alderney. So I'm gonna drop the outboard in, it's just a motor over, I don't think we'll be able to sail it at all, and if we do we'll just pull out the head sail. It's only like a half an hour sail if that. Um, Drop the mooring lines. This boat's swinging around, so we've got to kind of snake our way out that way somehow. I'm not going in. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, we are anchored up. We aren't dragging. It's dead calm. Perfectly smooth. 
Look at that sunset. Isn't it just absolutely stunning? Doesn't get much better than that. This is uh, Herm over here. Absolutely lovely. Pub's up there. So I'll probably go to that tomorrow, go for a walk around, go for a swim. We're in about, I don't know, a meter of water. Um, we'll probably go down to maybe like, I don't know, 0.6 of a meter at most. Absolutely lovely. I've got to pull up the uh, rudder just to make sure that doesn't get busted up, tilted up the outboard. And uh, we've got rocks there, rocks there, rocks there, rocks there, rocks there, rocks there. All rocks. Um, and I've set the anchor alarm. We've got about 15 meters out, 10 meters of chain, five meters of rope, and a 15 kilogram anchor, which is massive. Um, it's not really, it's not crazy sandy, but I mean, it should be all right. I've got the anchor alarm and the outboard starts up in like two seconds. So I'll leave the key in the ignition just so it's like ready to go. Tilt down, go, done. So the boat's pretty much good to go for tonight. And uh, I'm gonna have carbonara. Lizzie's gonna have the veggie carbonara with some uh, vegan bacon. And I'm gonna have it with real bacon. And uh, yeah, it should be nice cooking. I'll, uh, I'll do a little uh, cooking segment because uh, you haven't seen me cook on this boat yet. And um, we've got to turn the gas, which is in this locker here. I always turn it off, but I'll turn that on. We've got a spare can in there as well, but turn this on, powers the, the cooktop. And then, uh, yeah, it should be quite tasty. Right, back in the boat. Full off that carbon up. It was so nice. Dad, we did a lot of it. And uh, just got some hot chocolate on the go now. Uh, very nice. You can see a lot of stars up there, but you can't because you've got a camera to see it through. Uh, and I'm not skilled enough to make it see stars yet. So uh, just imagine them. But anyway, that's it for that episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one where we sail over to Alderney. Thanks for watching. <laughs>